Hi guys, it's Sarah and welcome back to my channel. So it's the new year, so happy new year everybody. I hope 2023 is a good one. Um, as tradition, I am going to be doing the new year's tag like I do every year. I went back to my, oh my god, if you can hear that, that's the wind, it's so windy here. Um, anyway, I went back to my last video where I did this and I got all the questions. So I'm going to be doing exactly the same questions as the other one. Um, this is so annoying because I can see the reflection of my window in my glasses in the viewfinder. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's a glasses day today. I always have like one day that's a glasses day. So yeah, that's really annoying that I can see it. <laughs> I might have to sort it out because it's distracting for me. So it's probably going to be distracting for you guys. Be right back. Back to what I was saying. Um, so basically, I'm going to be doing the New Year's tag um, like I do every year. And yeah, that's basically it. I have 11 questions, so it's not going to be a super long video. But these are the questions that I'm going to try and answer like every single year. So yeah, <laughs> let's jump into it. So the first question is, if you could look back on one memory last year that you wish you could relive, what would it be? This is a hard one because I've done so many different things last year. Um, but I think the main one has got to be the Wanted Tour because obviously Tom Parker sadly passed away this year. Um, but he did his very last tour um, this year. I'm saying this year because I'm filming this actually on the 29th, <laughs> even though it's going live on the 1st. The 1st is Sunday, isn't it? Yeah, so this is going live on the 1st, but I'm filming this on the 29th. So technically it's still 2022. Um, but yeah, so I wish that I could relive the Wanted to Tour with Tom Parker still there. Obviously, like it's never gonna happen because he has sadly passed away um and i don't think they're planning on touring um at least anytime soon if not ever <laughs> um but yeah that's like one memory that i would love to relive there is another memory as well um and it's going on stage with kovic for their song if you don't love me that was a really good like memory and like my sister even got on the stage which she wouldn't normally do and yeah like it was just a very good memory you know what's annoying me now is the shadow of my glasses literally <laughs> but if i don't wear them i can't see anyway so that is question number one question number two is what's any new year's resolutions that you accomplished this year slash last year because i'm still in 2022 and I went back through my last year's video to look at the resolutions that I made and there is actually the majority of them I have accomplished the other one there's only one that I haven't and there is a reason for it but we're going to go through them so my new year's revolu resolutions for 2022 was to go on more adventures which is what I did because in 2020 we were in lockdown and still in restrictions in 2021 so this year we've managed to go on so many more adventures because the restrictions have been lifted with covid um so yeah so i've achieved that one that one's a really good achievement which i'm really happy about the second one was to go to more gigs which is what i've done we've seen so many gigs me and my sister this year and yeah i'm just really happy about that and another one that i achieved was hanging around with more family and friends again and yeah obviously i've managed to do that so that's really good and the other one that i accomplished was my dancing we started going back dancing and i've achieved that because i've been dancing i do want to go back a bit more but it's a bit hard now that i live a bit further away and also my da dance partner is currently studying unit birmingham so we can only come up and do the lessons um every so often so yeah something i really want to do is get back into it more but i have actually got back into it because obviously covid stopped that and now we're back in it the one thing that i didn't accomplish was saving more because we're in a cost of living crisis right now and i've moved out at the wrong time 
um and obviously i live by myself so bills that go up i'm paying for them literally by myself um so it's stopping me from saving as much as i'd like to um i am now kind of getting it more in control and um and being able to do more things so saving is one one thing that i'm going to be concentrating in the new year um so yeah so realistically i've not accomplished it but i have started to accomplish it if that makes sense <laughs> Question number three is three words to describe last year. So the first one's going to be adventurous because we did go on a lot more adventures. Fun because we've had so much fun this year going to different places, gigs and doing things that we love. And the third one I'll have to say is amazed because I've managed to get another new job. <laughs> the last one I actually talked about getting a new job but I've got a new job now. It's closer to home, it costs less in petrol and I love it more than what I did with my previous job which I thought was going to be a bit impossible. Um, but yeah, so amazed I would say. Number four is some new music you found last year and I'm going to pop his name up here because I am rubbish at dis um, pronouncing his surname um and i don't want to get it wrong and offend him or anybody that's a fan of his um but yeah i'm gonna pop it up here um and i just want to say kian is just absolutely amazing i can say his first name it's his surname i can't um it's absolutely amazing it's somebody that i've discovered in 2022 and i absolutely love him and he's got a really good voice and hopefully i can go to a gig of his at some point i was going to go to his gig like little tour that he's doing next year but the tickets sold out so fast that i didn't manage to get it <laughs> but hopefully like if one goes on sales before then i can get one or if he puts another tour out or another gig um i can go to that but you need to check him out if you've not already he's absolutely amazing and his voice is just perfect like oh yeah i just absolutely love him and his music um, number five is something you're looking forward to this coming year. Um, I'm looking forward to more adventures. It's definitely like something that I absolutely love doing. Um, gigs and seeing what happens, like how like much I can improve in my new job, if that makes sense. Because I didn't think I'd be ever get a job in what I'm doing. Obviously, I'm not going to say what it is because for like personal reasons. Um, but yeah, like. I just I'm really like excited for a lot of things this year <laughs> so yeah number six is what did last last year teach you um it taught me that anything can happen I think I said this in the last video but I wasn't expecting to get a new job and I did and it was my decision as well it's like something I've never done before I've never left a job through my decision I've always been made redundant or something like that and I decided to do this myself so yeah anything can happen and yeah like <laughs> I think that's something that it taught me. Number seven is what is the most worn clothing item of the year and I apart from uniform because obviously I do have work uniform and I'm in that majority of the time I would have to say my snooty from Primark yeah i'm in it nine times out of ten like i'll get home from work get straight in it i'll wake up in the morning if i'm not in work like in the morning if i'm not in work i'm always in work in the morning so if i'm not in work i'll get straight into it but it's one of my most worn items like ever um and obviously my nike air forces but i think i'll wear my udin more than my nike air forces at the moment but yeah i absolutely love it it's one of my favorite items that i've worn a lot this year <laughs> number eight if you had to sum up your year in one word, what would it be? Adventurous. Because, yeah. <laughs> I've been on a lot of adventures. And, yeah. That's how I would just describe it. Number nine is what are you hoping for more of this upcoming year? And I'm hoping for more adventures, gigs, and dancing. <laughs> That's what I'm hoping more for. Pretty simple. But, yeah. I can't wait. Number 10, I don't even know why I've still included this question, but it is, what is the best book you've read in 2022? I am not a reader, but I did buy, well, I say I bought one. My sister bought me a book and it was Tom's little, Tom Parker's little autobiography and I've not read it yet, but it's got to be one of my favourite 
books that I've been given this year, even though I've not read it yet. I will read it. I just need to be in that mindset to read it. Um, and it's a signed one as well. And I kind of, yeah, I do want to read it, but I just need to be in the mindset to actually read it. And the last question is, what is your New Year's resolution for this upcoming year? And I'm going to keep save more on there because it's something that I do want to do. Like, I'm in my own flat. I need to have money behind me because, um, like, things can happen unpredictably. And, yeah, I do need to save more money. I want to go on more adventures and, yeah, just have fun, really. Um, and continue uploading YouTube videos because I got a bit of a slack on that last year. Um, so 2023 I'm going to be uploading more content for you guys and that's something that I really want to stick to. Um, another thing that I want to sort out is my skincare and my hair care. I feel like I've been slacking on it and I've only just started to get into a routine with it if that makes sense. And yeah that's some of the things that I just want to like have as a new year's revolution just for me. Um, but yeah so they're my new year's resolutions and hopefully I'll accomplish them because I never normally set myself goals but I did last year and I accomplished the majority of them so that's really good. I'm about to sneeze so bear with me. <coughs> anyway that is the whole of this video. Um, it's my little new year's tag. I like to do these every year just because it's fun and obviously if you guys want to play along with it answer your questions answer the questions that I did down below and let me know your goals and stuff for this year do you achieve any of them last year let me know and again happy new year everybody I hope 2023 is a really good one for you guys and I hope it's full of fun love and happiness but yes thank you so much for watching and make sure you have hit my subscribe button if you are new and hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed this video thank you guys so much for watching and i hope 2023 is a good one see you next time bye